In October 2023, as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict erupted, Israel declared a state of war. In this tense situation, Intel and Tower Semiconductor had already begun partial shutdowns at their local semiconductor fabs to avoid the ravages of war. Audiences familiar with Israel should know that it's a tiny nation, covering only 15,200 square kilometers with a population of less than 10 million. Israel lacks oil, fresh water, and has been plagued by constant conflicts for years. However, in this adverse environment, Israel boasts about 200 chip companies, and the semiconductor industry has been a pillar of the Israeli economy. Thriving on its high-tech sector, Israel has become the only developed country in the Middle East, earning the moniker, Chip Kingdom. Today, let's explore why this war-torn nation is dubbed the, Chip Kingdom. What did Israel do to establish such a dominant presence in the semiconductor industry? All right, let's dive into today's video and get started. Israel's semiconductor industry has a history of over 50 years, and is one of the countries worldwide with the most complete semiconductor industry ecosystem. It's where the world's first handheld mobile phone, the first computer processor, SanDisk's first USB flash drive, and Intel's initial mobile phone chip were born. In 1964, Motorola established the first semiconductor R&D center in Israel, marking the beginning of Israel's semiconductor industry. The rapid development of Israel's semiconductor industry began with Intel establishing its first R&D center in Israel, in 1974. Five years later, this team developed the 8088 microprocessor, becoming the heart of the IBM PC. This brought immense profits to Intel and sparked a storm of microcomputers worldwide. Later, Intel established Fab 8 in Jerusalem and subsequently Fab 18 and Fab 28 in Kiryat Gat. Today, these facilities remain significant in the production of Intel core processors, signifying immense importance for Intel. After nearly 50 years of development, Intel has become the largest investor in the Israeli tech sector. Currently, Intel has four R&D centers, two wafer fabrication facilities, and three semiconductor manufacturing plants in Israel. Intel's active presence has transformed Kiryat Gat, which had only a few thousand inhabitants, into a tech hub with tens of thousands of residents. In June of this year, the Israeli Prime Minister announced that Intel would invest $25 billion to build a semiconductor wafer fabrication plant in Israel, adding $15 billion on top of the $10 billion investment announced in 2019. The new wafer fabrication plant is expected to begin operations in 2027 and run at least until 2035, employing thousands of people. Moreover, numerous overseas tech giants such as Apple, Samsung, Microsoft, Nvidia, Marvel, and more have established R&D centers in Israel. Currently, Israel has nearly 200 chip companies domestically, attracting 8% of the world's chip designers and R&D centers. In addition to major international players, Tower Semiconductor stands as a flagship in Israel's domestic semiconductor industry. Currently, Tower Semiconductor owns the second-largest wafer fabrication facility in Israel, trailing only behind Intel. Their facility has a production capacity of 200mm wafers and 150mm wafer diameters. Israel hosts numerous excellent chip companies that have already been or are currently being sought after for acquisition by international semiconductor giants. Over the years, numerous acquisition cases have taken place. Israel is the second significant town for NVIDIA's research and development activities outside of the United States. In 2020, NVIDIA acquired Israel's Mellanox for $7 billion. In March 2022, NVIDIA made another acquisition by acquiring Israeli company Accelero, deepening its enterprise data storage business. In 2015, Arm acquired the Israeli chip security company Sangza for $90 million, primarily used in the Internet of Things IoT, sector. In recent years, Qualcomm has invested in multiple Israeli chip companies, with over three acquisitions alone. This includes Qualcomm's 2012 acquisition of DesignArt Networks, its $300 million acquisition of WIGIG chip development company Velocity in July 2014, and the acquisition of CSR's Israeli imaging division in 2014. Samsung acquired an Israeli chip design company as early as 2007 and established an AI research center in Israel. In 2017, through its subsidiary Harman, based on chip technology and focused on automotive network security. 
Furthermore, Apple's latest generation of mobile processors is being developed at its research and development center in Herzliya, known as the Silicon Valley of Israel. This center employs thousands of R&D personnel. In addition to this, Apple has successively acquired several Israeli companies, including flash storage design company Anobit and 3D sensor manufacturer PrimeSense. In 2015, Amazon acquired a small Israeli chip design company, Annapurna Labs, and began its foray into the chip industry. Engineers from Amazon and Annapurna Labs have created the ARM Graviton processor and Amazon Inferentia chip. Microsoft has been developing chips in Israel for many years. Microsoft employs over 2,000 employees at its research and development center in Herzliya, Israel. In March 2021, Microsoft planned to invest $1 to $1.5 billion in Israel by establishing a new data center locally, and expanding its chip development activities, focusing on research and development of network chips and other products. Numerous similar cases abound, and Israeli companies often ambitiously target cutting-edge technology sectors such as AI and autonomous driving. After maturing their technologies, they seek secure exits, making Israel a haven for venture capital. Looking at the development of Israel's semiconductor industry, it can be broadly divided into three stages. Initial development stage, 1960s to 1970s During this time, Israel faced an oil embargo and needed to reduce its reliance on imported oil. The government believed that developing the semiconductor industry could lower energy consumption to address this challenge. In 1959, the Israeli government introduced the Encouragement of Capital Investments Law, attracting companies like Motorola, Intel, Texas Instruments, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA to establish semiconductor R&D centers in Israel. Since then, Israel has continuously produced innovative semiconductor technologies. Marketization stage, 1980s to 1990s In the early 1980s, the Israeli government began to phase out high subsidies for the semiconductor industry and gradually promoted marketization. In 1985, Israel established its first venture capital fund, Athena. The government slowly stepped back, allowing private capital to drive the development of venture capital. In 1993, Israel launched the Yosma Venture Capital Program, transforming Israel into a global R&D hub. Globalization stage, early 21st century to present in the early 21st century. Israel's semiconductor industry rapidly surged, establishing a significant position in the global chip market capturing approximately 3% of the global semiconductor market share. In 2020, Israel's total semiconductor exports reached $7.8 billion, constituting around 15% of its high-tech product exports. From 2010 to 2020, over 70% of semiconductor-related companies in Israel that achieved specific revenue milestones successfully, exited through IPOs or acquisitions. From 2017 to 2022, many well-known large companies were progressively acquired. Israeli entrepreneurs reinvested a substantial portion of their gains from these exits into the high-tech industry, continuing to develop new technologies, forming a beneficial cycle of acquisition nurturing. As more and more semiconductor giants rush to Israel, it further solidifies Israel's position as the chip kingdom. What has Israel done right behind this chip kingdom title? Israel places a strong emphasis on education. Children aged 5 to 15 who are deemed talented are enrolled in the gifted education system for young talents. Israel also creatively integrates military education into the national education system. Through the Tower program, excellent high school students are selected to undergo elite training and exposure to cutting-edge technology within the military. Israel has a high proportion of highly educated individuals and engineers. Israeli researchers rank first in the world in terms of the proportion of the population, and the average level of education is also very high. Taking the Technion Israel Institute of Technology as an example, over 70% of graduates work in the high-tech sector. Moreover, Israel not only focuses on cultivating talent domestically but also actively implements immigration policies to attract high-end talent from abroad, rapidly enhancing the talent pool in areas such as semiconductors. From the earlier investment and acquisition cases, it is evident that Israel's semiconductor industry, with its leading international performance, has attracted favorable attention from both local and overseas capital. Nearly 13% of the venture capital attracted by the Israeli tech industry is directed towards the semiconductor sector, 
Many Israeli investors have backgrounds in the semiconductor industry and possess profound knowledge of this field. The proportion of funding allocated to R&D by Israeli companies in relation to GDP has consistently been at the forefront globally. In 2022, among the countries leading in the proportion of semiconductor R&D spending to GDP globally, Israel's semiconductor R&D spending as a share of GDP in the semiconductor sector was 4.8%, higher than that of countries like the United States and Japan. The Israeli government also provides legal protection and funding for startups and has established a comprehensive incentive system. According to a study in 2020, Israel ranked second globally in terms of the number of semiconductor startups, following only the United States. Over these four to five decades of development, Israel, leveraging its cutting-edge R&D capabilities, has almost not missed any opportunities in the semiconductor field. From autonomous driving to DPUs, to 4D radar and AI technology, Israel has been at the forefront in every advanced field, making pioneering strides. In recent years, as global technology and trade tensions have intensified, semiconductors have become an increasingly critical part of the global high-tech industry, receiving unprecedented attention. However, for a long time, the tense situation in the Middle East has been a concern for the world. Today, this region once again becomes a focus of conflict. As a significant participant in the global semiconductor industry, Israel's future and fate under the shadow of warfare are something we can only pray for together.